If you have a check engine and a triangle of death on your dashboard, stick around. I'll tell you how you can easily diagnose it. All right, guys, let me tell you a very interesting story. A friend of mine has a 2008 Toyota Prius and he's got into a very minor rear end accident. So minor that he didn't even have to replace any parts. But because of that minor accident, his trunk started leaking rainwater and he drove car for a little while and water accumulated right where the spare tire compartment is and uh, it's accumulated to that point that as he was driving water would splash around and it would splash onto the high voltage battery so after a while his uh, uh, check engine and a triangle of death came up on the dashboard and uh, he came up to me and we looked at the high voltage battery and uh, I mean it was corroded it was pretty badly corroded so we cleaned it up and um, automatically assumed that uh, that was the cause of the code because we assumed that the water got onto uh, battery cells and uh, that way voltage escaped to the ground and um, caused that code to come up so we cleaned it up and he was on his way and after a short while he's getting the same uh, same symptoms his uh, triangle of death check engine all these uh, wonderful lights are back on the dash so he comes back to me and we take it completely out we take battery completely out of the car and we take it completely apart and by the way guys to simplify your diagnostics you would have to go to a shop where they have one of these uh, this is more advanced scanner rather than uh, AutoZone scanners AutoZone or advanced auto parts those uh, stores they have a generic um, just OBD2 regular OBD2 scanners where they can check your check engine but they won't be able to go into hybrid control system so go to a shop where they have one of these and trust me there are a lot of shops that will do scanning for you very cheap 20 bucks or some shops even do it for free so go there and scan your hybrid control system and get a code and you you if you're watching this video you probably have done it already you know you have a p 0 a a6 code but to simplify it even further you have to get a detailed code and the code you're looking for is a 614 that's a detailed code you're gonna have two codes in the system and 614 is the one you're looking for that's most common code that means you have an issue inside your high voltage battery there are a couple of other codes which will mean that there is a, a problem in your wiring, in your transmission, in your inverter, or in, even in your um, AC compressor. But if you got 614, I'll show you how you can easily determine which cell is leaking. All right, in order to do this test, you will have to get one of these. This is very simple a multimeter that you can purchase at probably on Amazon or Harbor Freight. All right, guys, this is what you do. Turn it on and set it to resistance. It's an ohm sign. Set it to resistance and touch your probes together. You will see a reading on your screen. So now that we have this set up, take your probe, it doesn't matter which probe, and touch the body of your battery. And another probe, you will touch every single terminal of each battery and go all the way around touching negative and positive side of each cell. That way you will determine which cell is bad. You will get a reading from the cell that leaks. Make sure that your cells are connected to your uh, body. Don't, dis don't take those little screws from underneath out because you, you want to inspect it while those cells are tied to the body of the battery. So this is the easiest and this is most reliable way to determine which cell is leaking. And in some cases it, it, it will be a multiple cells. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Also, check my video series about rebuilding Tesla. I'm rebuilding a 2018 Tesla Model 3. I purchased that car at the auction and uh, I'm in the process of restoring this car right now. So if this is something that you're interested, please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.